Abdul Razak spends his time staring at the sky. He was a teacher, but that was in another lifetime. He's a spotter now, part of a trained team on the ground across Syria, who report their observations on the types of aircraft they see and the direction they're headed. His and other spotters' observations, along with information on things like weather patterns and historical attack data, feed into an algorithm that is part of an early warning system called Sentry by Hala Systems. It reaches its users via telegram and social media. Hala is the brainchild of American John Yeager and his team. Uh, this is not a new concept. So back in World War I and World War II and even after that, um, governments like uh, the UK and, and the US employed the use of trained civilians to act as airplane spotters. Uh, we just applied a, uh, about seven decades worth of technological advancement um, and are essentially recreated uh, that exact same system. So how fast is it from the point where a spotter inputs information to a warning actually being generated? Sure, so within a few seconds of us receiving an observation that is high enough degree uh, of confidence that it would trigger a warning, um, uh, a few seconds from input to an activation of an air raid siren in a potentially affected community. In Syria, cell phone reception can be spotty, but Abd al-Sadman recommends Hala to his customers. Even for those who have a shelter, it's often makeshift. Mohammed, a young father of a two-month-old baby, dug out his own for his family and relatives. It's not much, but it's all they have. How effective do you think you've been able to be? Uh, in the case where we're able to measure casualties in a location that's under heavy bombardment before and after our system is, is put into place and activated, uh, we've seen up to a 27 percent reduction in lethality. John, a former State Department employee, says Hala came about as a realization that bars somehow stopping the bombs and violence, there are few options to mitigate the impact of indiscriminate killing. And it's not just about saving lives in Syria. I think that the world spends a tremendous amount of time focusing energy and resources on a lot of downstream issues that start with violence against civilians. Uh, migration, displacement, socioeconomic issues. Um, it all starts with innocent people being killed indiscriminately. If we can help mitigate the effects of that violence, we think it could have cascading effects, not just for Syria, but for, for every other country in the world. Arwa Damon, CNN, Istanbul.